Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, each team was introduced and they all had some quality time to bond with each other before the first challenge. In the challenge we got to see some contestants athletic abilities and others not so much. In the end, Tyler was the reason for his team's loss as he tripped at the end, costing his team the win. The agitated alligators decided to send Tyler to Boney Island for helping their team out so much, and they were also informed that nobody would be eliminated this week. Though agitated alligators get a week to recover, can they make the most of it and keep the win streak going, or will they become overconfident and fail? Will Tyler even be alive to return? All these questions and more answered this time on Total Drama Redemption Island. Tyler returns back to camp and Wayne and Raj welcome him back, saying how they've missed him while he was gone and they've been trying to come up with some strategies for the challenges. Tyler just walks past them, exhausted after last night. In confessional, Tyler says that he likes Wayne and Raj, it's just that if they had to survive what he did, they wouldn't want to speak either. Joe asks Tyler if it was too much for him and tells him that if it was, then he should just quit now, which makes Tyler angry and he says that he will show her. He will be the reason they win this challenge. Joe just scoffs at that, thinking it's nothing more than bravado. Sammy and Justin go to Tyler, and Justin says that it's good to see him back, while Sammy asks if he's okay. Tyler says that he survived it, but he doesn't think he could do a second night there in a row, so they should definitely win this week's challenge. Sammy is a bit worried by that, and overall by the state of Tyler. Justin in confessional says that Tyler is an idiot, but it's not often that his positive attitude is broken. That island must be incredibly dangerous. He would definitely like to see Tyler go there more, so he would eliminate himself. Dave and B are talking about the contestants left, or more so just Dave talking, and Dave asks who they should get into an alliance with the only real options they come up with being Sammy and Tyler. On the Agitated Alligators, Trent is playing guitar for Ella with Bierdo adding sound effects of other instruments. Damien walks over impressed by the whole thing, saying that he can't believe Trent and Bierdo are so talented they should be in a boy band or something. Trent immediately says no to the idea, saying that the last time he was in a boy band it went south so quickly that it ruined any desire for him to join one again, and besides he only wants to play for one girl on his team. Axel is watching from afar, and she goes to Eva before saying that they need to split Trent and Ella up sooner rather than later. They will become a powerful alliance and vote them off eventually. Eva says that if they vote off their strongest members, they would just be idiots, and Axel then asks if that's why she was voted off second, and Eva gets ticked off at that, saying that was just because she was immature, they wouldn't do that to her again. Axel just tells her to think about it and leaves. Eva is lifting until she thinks about how much time they've spent together and sighs before going to ask Brick for an alliance. Brick is trying to train Stacy to help her get more fit when Eva arrives, not being used to these signs of weaknesses as she asks if he'd like to team up with her. And Brick agrees to it as long as Stacy can be in the group as well, Eva begrudgingly agrees. In confessional, Eva says that she has no intention of carrying that tub of lard through an elimination, but she knows that it would be suspicious to Brick if all four of them said they would vote someone and Stacy was the one who got sent home. Chris speaks over the intercom, saying that it's challenge time. Today's challenge is a fun one. Two members from each team must compete in the childhood game of Tug of War. The two contestants who win will then go on to try and solve a slide puzzle for the three minutes allowed. After three minutes, they must go to the back and wait until everyone else on their team has competed. You can switch up the order of who goes, but you must have everyone go before someone can go again. The slide puzzles will get increasingly more difficult, so everyone should do their best. Axel and Eva almost immediately offer to go, but Damien says that may not be a good idea since they will have to, you know, solve the puzzle. This offends Axel, who kicks him into the lake. Joe says that it's probably better to put their smarter people with the stronger people so that they can solve it, but Wayne and Raj say they'll go together. They have solved lots of puzzles together. Dave asks what kinds of puzzles they've solved, and Raj says he is a fan of the word searches, while Wayne says he enjoys the horoscope puzzles. Dave in confessional says that his team is doomed. Joe forms the first round teams, Sammy and Tyler, Wayne and Raj, B and Justin, and finally Dave and her. Joe says that despite her being the best leader, puzzles aren't her strong suit, so she hopes Dave can pick up the slack, and Dave says he'll try his best. They start out, and Axel and Eva almost immediately beat Tyler and Sammy, and go to do their puzzle. Axel tells Eva to take a break and she will do this and Eva does so. Eva in confessional says that she is only listening to her because she admires how strong Axel is, nothing else. Axel finishes the 3x3 slide puzzle right before the 3 minutes are up, and Chris says that the next will be a 5x5 five five and the next people should go. Brick and Stacy go next and they are against Wayne and Raj. However, Brick and Stacy are mostly held back by Stacy, and Wayne and Raj go forward and fumble with the pieces for 3 minutes until their time is up and the next round starts. Trent and Ella versus B and Justin. It's a bit tougher, but Justin and B end up 
powering through, and Justin asks B if he can do this alone, and B gives a signal of agreement. Justin gives a sigh of relief and leans back while B finishes the 3x3 in record time. Justin congratulates B, and B goes to the back while the final round of the first set commences. Joe and Dave versus Bierdo and Damien. Though Bierdo and Damien are stronger than Dave, Joe really carries this group and they win. Dave rushes in and is going as fast as he can before eventually solving it before the 3 minutes are up. Dave gives a sigh of relief before hearing that the next one is a 20 by 20 and he gets scared as he knows that this will take hours. Joe says that they will keep the same groups, but this time they will adjust their order based off what the other team puts up. Eva actually makes some adjustments and Eva is going with Ella. Joe and Dave compete for this, but Eva's might is too much and she defeats Joe. Eva tries her best with Ella's encouragement, but Eva gets angry and kicks the stand holding the pieces, to which the time is immediately cut short for her doing that. Eva apologizes to the others, but they don't want to hear it, as now their progress is reset to nothing. Bierdo and Axel go next, and they face off against Tyler and Sammy. Tyler and Sammy are no match for Bierdo and Axel, and they lose once again. Bierdo is actually able to solve the puzzle with ease. In confessional, Bierdo says that he loves puzzles, this is a cakewalk for him. Finally, both teams have the 20x20, and the match is B and Justin versus Brick and Trent. It's a tight matchup, but B and Justin win, and B goes again, but he seems a lot more nervous as he tries his best but can't do it as time runs out. Damien and Stacy are the final ones up with Wayne and Raj. Surprisingly, they are able to win, but only because Damien is able to use their momentum against Wayne and Raj, causing Wayne and Raj to fall over before Damien pulls the rope to victory. Damien is trying his best and almost solves it, but Stacy then says that this reminds her of her great 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 grandfather who invented the first slide puzzle by tearing a picture of her wife into several pieces and making a game out of it while she was away. This distracts Damien and he yells at her to stop talking, but the three minutes are now up. Wayne and Raj say that they've got this in the final round and that they figured it out, and Joe just says fine to that since they've got nothing to lose. The other team puts up Bierdo and Damien in hopes of finishing the challenge quickly. Despite Damien and Bierdo's best ever, Wayne and Raj have grown and they adapt to their plan before beating Bierdo and Damien. They rush to the 20x20 puzzle and begin peeling the stickers off quickly before arranging them in the correct spots right as the 3 minute mark is hit, and Chris gives them the point since they technically did solve the puzzle. Eva says that it's not fair and tries to attack Chris before being held off by Axel who tells her to cool it and that she's still safe from tonight's vote. Chris then asks the ravenous raccoons who they'd like to send to Boney Island and Joe says Axel. Axel is both happy and sad about this because on one hand she can't protect Eva, but on the other she gets to test her mettle in the most dangerous place of all time. Chris then says that he will see the rest of the agitated alligators at the elimination ceremony. Chris welcomes them to their first elimination ceremony. Here, marshmallows indicate life. If they do not receive one, they must walk the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and they can't come back. Ever. But first, Chef, tell them why some of them may be eliminated. Chef starts with Eva, saying that her temper caused her team to fall behind and she almost got herself eliminated for trying to attack the host. Stacy, you caused the team to fail because of all that blabbing. And finally, Damien. Damien asks what he did, and Chef says that if he would have brought some earplugs, he wouldn't have been distracted by Stacy. Damien just rolls his eyes. Chris smiles, and with that out of the way, here's who's safe. Trent. Ella. Brick. Bierdo. Only three marshmallows left. Damien, you are safe. And finally, the first person going home is... Eva stands up and says that it's fine. She understands why she's gone, but Chris tells her to sit back down before continuing. Like I was saying, the first person going home is... Stacy. Eva is shocked and Stacy is as well. Brick looks sad about it, but Stacy says that it's okay. He did all he could for her and she appreciates it. Stacy leaves to board the boat of losers with her dignity intact. And that's that for episode 2. What did you think about the episode? Question of the week, how would you do in Total Drama Island if you took Ezekiel's place? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.